You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm across yeah. the street, and the pup will be like, I want to go across the street. I'm like, hey, do you mind? Just bring your dog over. I just want to say hi. I'll, I'll cross it. Can I cross the street? And they're just like, keep walking. And like, oh. oh, wait, Mark. Hold this. One second, one second, one second. Well, itty bitty. There we go. Okay. Wong, two, wong, two, three, four. State your uh, your name, rank, and serial number for us. Who are My you? name is Kimbo Rose. <laughs> I am the singer and songwriter for Absinthe Rose. 
Well, basically, I am. Um, in the last 10 months, I've gone through like this really big transition like we were vocalizing earlier. And basically, it's um, I, I, I split with a, a long-term partner, um, which um, was a catalyst for me going back to doing uh, my art as like a solo artist. And yeah. so in doing so, I felt that it was um, something that would uh, help uh, re-empower me, help make me feel that I could, you know, create on a different level, um, you know, heart space and like mind and like where I was through the transition. I, I, I definitely wanted to tour with new material, so yeah. I I opened up, you know, um, old notebooks. I, I read, I wrote from the heart. I wrote like nothing else mattered. It felt like I want to like tear myself apart in order to write an album that would at least help heal through the process of you know making a big transition and so i you know wrote this brand new record um i did this tour in maui for two weeks with friends and family i'm um, yes. now their family to me and um now we're um you know learning music across the fucking country. One thing I'm learning and unlearning at the same time is embracing um, the darker side of who I am as a person, as like a woman, and I feel that part of part of being an artist is being as authentic as you possibly can, even though sometimes it brings you into like this artistic depression because of sitting with the music that you have written. Sometimes it gets you to a space where you're like, that's really honest and I don't know if I want to share that and so you process it and this album was me sitting with every song going like okay yeah and so getting and so the tour made me feel like I'm connected right. to it and so I think that like embracing darkness is like this new theme in my life and so as a young kid I went to punk because I lived in an abusive household I, I everything everyone was fucking yelling all the time you was so angry and then you learn to be silent but at the end of the day like where does that energy go right. so for me it was in in punk like the first yep. time I went to a punk yep. show and I saw kids fucking slam dancing I was yep. like you are controlling this hurt, this pain, and immediately I was like, I will never ever go anywhere else. Like, and that's why I play. So I was like, I have to give back somehow. Yeah, and it yeah. was the punk, and it was the aggression, and it was the anger. When I was younger, um, my brother and I were best best friends, and he got into trouble. He went to juvie, and then um, and then I was in his bedroom when I think I was 12 to 13 before I had my own instrument. And I was sitting on his bed and I was so fucking sad that they took him. So I'm just like, so I pick up the guitar and that's how it started. It was his guitar. Mm. He left and I was like, I don't know how to channel what I'm feeling. And I feel like punching stuff and crying. So I picked up the instrument that was his and that's how I started playing guitar. Well, it's funny because it's like without him, I would have never even decided to play. And yeah. because of the way I grew up and because of him, I decided to, you know, devote like 99% of my music to political, like, activism. Right. You know? So, you sing about feminism, mm -hmm. you sing about prison abolition. Mm -hmm. Do you ever, before you get on stage sometimes in a new setting, in a new place, you don't know the people there, do you get like butterflies, you feel like, what am I about to expose these folks to and how? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I always try to represent my my um, passion to give back. Like I, I I try not to ever silence myself in the sense like I don't know if you guys are gonna like this, but this song's about the prison system. So I always try to be like, you know what? I don't give a fuck. Like I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be like, yo, this song is about feminism. And if you're all down, like, we could be friends. If you're not, get the fuck out. Or stay, and we might learn something. So I try not to let myself leave a show without feeling like I participated in why I started playing music in the first place, was speaking out against injustice and speaking up for people who may not, because I was one of those people who could not speak up. I would love Absent Throws to not just be a band. I personally want Absent Throws to be a collective consciousness that helps other people. Like I would love to make a foundation of, of kids that have been abused. That's my dream. My dream is to go to schools and teach people how to heal themselves through artistic expression. Yes, I want to play music. Yes, I want cool shows. Fuck yeah. Yes, I want to like play and be awesome. But at the end of the day, if I can't help somebody else, why the fuck am I helping myself? And I want them to know my story. Like I've been beat down. I've been neglected, rejected, and thrown out of like car windows, like emotionally. But 
you can come back because of your art. I would like Circle H for healing to be my legacy. Circle H, um, so growing up in the punk scene, uh, you have Circle A for Anarcho, um, and then you have Circle E for Equality, yeah. Earth Medicine. I want to add Circle H because I'm, I'm a punker for life, even though if I don't play punk music, it's it's lyrics, it's attitude, it's like hype oh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so Circle H is what I circle um, on names, on my band, you can take it, it's it's not like a me thing, it's an everyone like exactly. that. Circle okay. H. <laughs> And it's for healing. If you feel as an artist that you create any sort of medium, any art, and it helps heal you as a person, circle H. Dude, that is beautiful. Yeah. I've been trying to cultivate it. It's been... Like that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Circle your H. <laughs> circle your H. Circle H, guys. Yeah. And then I got it here. <laughs>